Hey everyone, how y'all doing? Welcome back to my kitchen. It's starting to get a little cold outside, so I figured what better way to celebrate this cool weather than with a nice pork, white bean, and kale stew. Now, very easy to make. There's a few ingredients here in front of us. We've got two pounds of diced up pork shoulder, two cups of cream, a cup of white beans that have been soaking in water, half cup of white wine, package of mushrooms, package of grape tomatoes, half an onion, three tablespoons of minced garlic, along with a bunch of kale with the ribs removed. Finally, we have one quart of chicken broth. And don't forget your favorite seasonings, salt, pepper, onion powder, garlic powder, and a little paprika just for fun. The first thing that you wanna do is season your pork, mix all that up, and we're gonna sear it off. To get your seasonings, sprinkle them all over your pork. Now, if you have a lot of pork, obviously use a little bit more. I like to go a little heavier with my seasoning to make sure that everything gets coated. We need a little bit more, so we'll get that going. Next, we're gonna get this ready to get seared off. Now, all we're gonna do is get a little olive oil into our Dutch oven, and we're gonna sear off a little bit at a time. And we're gonna let that go until it has a good sear all over it. All right, this is the color that you want on your meat. We're gonna take this out, switch out with the rest of our raw pork, and keep moving. Now, time to take everything out and deglaze with our white wine. All this on the bottom, it's not burnt, that's flavor. It's called fond and we're gonna get it off with a little acid with our white wine. And you're just gonna kind of scrape the bottom off a little bit. And next we're gonna pour this out onto our pork and then we'll start cooking off our vegetables. Get a little more oil. We're gonna throw our onions and garlic into our pan. We're also gonna put our mushrooms and tomatoes in with this as well. And we're going to let this cook down for a few minutes until it's soft and all the flavor has come out. All right, now that we've got some color on our vegetables, our tomatoes are starting to pop a little bit. We're going to add our beans along with our pork. Stir this all up. Then we're going to add our broth. The last thing we're going to do is add our cream. We're going to cover this up and we're going to let this cook anywhere between 30 minutes to two hours. All right, it's been about an hour. Our meat's cooking down. Our beans are starting to get cooked. I think we have probably another half hour to go. So this would be a good time to add our greens. We're just gonna stir this in, cover it up, and we're gonna let this go for another half hour. Okay, it's been about two hours and 15 minutes. Our beans are cooked. Our pork is fork tender. Let's put this all, all together. Right. Get yourself your favorite bowl, a ladle and put as much as you want in there. Make sure you get some broth, some of your liquid, and voila, you're done. Let's try this. All right, let's see if our hard work and patience. That's good. You get that nice pork flavor, but of course the garlic, the onions, the mushrooms, all complement very well. You get a little bit of acid from those tomatoes, of course, that cream makes it nice and subtle. Season it more towards the end. But overall, that's really good. Regardless, hope you learned something today. Make sure you follow me on social media. Chef Steven Gonzalez on Facebook. Chef Stegon's on Instagram and Twitter. Also, go to ChefStevenGonzalez.com. Get a copy of my book. Get your grub on with a lot of recipes like this. And we'll catch you next time.